Okay, so for the last couple of years, I've been using this app. It's called Team Shake. Um, really like it. I use this in the classroom to divide my classes up in groups. I have here a, a list of soccer players, but I'll show you my classes in a second. And uh, you just add them in here, and then you can say, okay, I want to divide these guys up. By teams, I hit this button here and watch how simple this is. I've got two teams with their names on it. Um, the nice thing is you can hit this little switch button. Now you can have two players per team. So if you want to partner them up, then you just hit that. Now you've got a bunch of teams like this. Um, one of the really neat features is you can actually click on the individual names. And you can also give them male or female. So if you want groups that are evenly divided between males and females, you can do that. You can also put your um, groups into strengths. For example, if you have your genius student, you can put a strongest, your weakest student here. That way there's equal number of those type of kids paired up um, to delete or to you know, say OK to anything, you just hit that little check mark to delete the names, you hit the, you hit the trash can. The other neat thing I like is that you can have multiple teams. So you can actually come in here and say create a new list or you can load a list. Um, for example, if I want to do my physics class, I could just simply come in here and do my physics class. And that's really all there is to it. Again, it's called Team Shake. Um, very, very cool, easy way to divide them up in groups. I usually also don't ask them to raise their hands for things. I actually will come in here and just randomize the whole thing by putting them in one team and then just hitting the shake. And now I just go in this random order here and I just call them all as I, as I need volunteers to do something. You can also... Um, after you create a group, let's create a group real quick. You can also then share that and you could actually send it to an email, um, which is really nice in case you want to save your groups for later. So if I have a, if I want to put them in groups of six, hit shake, um, and then I could actually email this list to me and so that I don't lose it. That is actually pretty much it. It's just a fantastic app. It saved me a lot of time. Um, I do my seating charts this way, which is actually kind of fun. So if I, I have them in at yeah, tables, and so I just come in here and I say, okay, there's two people at each table. Just hit that and boom. Whoops. Let's go two players per team. Hit that and boom. And now I just say, okay, Table one, Elizabeth Rainey, table two, Tyler and Keikoa, and so forth. Excellent app, highly recommended. It does come on both Apple and Droid phones. Please feel free to visit our website, educationalresource.org, a place where we have been compiling just a bunch of free worksheets, links to different videos. It's very searchable. If I'm looking for something from science, I could click on the science link and then come down here and I can actually take a look at all the different resources. I can actually sort by grade level, sort by science content, and sort by resource type. Once you find, you know, as you click on these things, like let's say I want just kindergarten through second grade, click here and it just has the stuff where you can actually watch the video right from within there so that you can preview it and you can preview any of the assignments they have. And all the tech tutorials and everything else that we teach about and blog about is right here on Educational Education Revelations. So please check us out. Again, educationalresource.org.